Hi guys, it's Adam with Web Starts, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to add Google Analytics to a website. Google Analytics is a way to track the visitors that come to your website. So you can see things like where they're coming from, the search terms they use to find you on search engines like Google, and a whole lot more. So let's dive in and take a look at how to set that up with your website. All right, in this first step, I'm going to be setting up a Google Analytics account. So I go to analytics.google.com. In order to create a Google Analytics account, you'll need a Google account. So if you have a Gmail address, you might want to sign in with that. And if you're creating a new email address for this specific business, of course, you'll create a Google account for that as well. Here I'm using the Paradise Spring account that I created, so I have my little avatar up here. So if you are using an existing account and you're logged in, you'll see your avatar up here as well. All right, I clicked on Setup Free, and now I've got to enter an account name. I'm just going to put the Secret Garden at Paradise Spring. So I filled that out, I clicked there. Here you have some check boxes from Google and then I'm gonna leave those checked and then I'm going to choose to just track my web activity as opposed to my web and apps activity. If you have an app, you can do that, but I'm just going to click next for now. Moving ahead, I'm going to enter my website name. That's just gonna be paradisespringwedding.com. Type that in. And then I'm going to enter the actual URL since that last one was just the name. So I type in paradisespringwedding.com right into that field. I'm going to choose an industry category and I'm going to search for wedding, but it doesn't look like there's any results for wedding. So I'm going to back out and try to find one that's more appropriate. So I'm going to sc scroll down the list. Real estate looks like it's probably the right one. So I'm going to click to select that. And then I'm going to set my time zone by choosing uh, New York since I'm on the East Coast for my time zone and then click create. In this step, I'm going to have to agree to the terms of service. So I check the box to agree. I scroll through this, make sure you read it. Do know that I don't personally like to use Google Analytics for Web Starts properties just because they do gather data on you and that does force up the cost of your advertising for you and your competitors. So if you do want to use the product though, you have to accept the agreement. So if you're ready to do that, then come down here to where it says I accept and click the button. All right, now we're in the uh, last step here. We have set up the account. I'm welcomed with an opportunity to download the app for iOS or by, for Android as well as a, a tutorial for uh, walking you through some of the basic things, but I'm just gonna skip that. And now my account's created. For this video, I'm going to be adding the code snippet or the tracking code that's provided right here to a Web Starts website, but this is basically the same regardless of how or where you built your website. So if you created your website using HTML code, you still would add this code the same way as you add it to a Web Starts website. And that's by putting it in the head section of your code. So you have a head tag on your website and you want to add that code to that section. So the way I'm gonna do that is select the code and then I'm going to move over to my Web Starts account. And I'm already logged into my Web Starts account. If you haven't created one, they're free to create. So if you need a place to create a website, obviously Web Starts is a great place to create a website. So once you're logged into your Web Starts website, you're going to click on Edit Site. And then to add the code, you're going to click Insert HTML code you're going to click yes that you understand that you're editing the HTML code. And then you're just going to go into the site head and it's going to provide this space. And you're going to paste the code into the field provided and click OK. You're then going to save your page. So if you're doing this in HTML, then you would just save your page and then you would upload that to your web server. And if you're using something like WordPress, you would add it to the head section of WordPress or whatever other website builder that you might be using. So now my code has been added to the page and I should be able to see when somebody's on my live page. So 
Now I'm on the home page. Let's jump back over to Google Analytics and see if it displays that I'm there. All right, I'm back into my Google Analytics interface and I'm going to click on the home icon up here and it should notify me that I actually have somebody on my website right now and that is me. Here you can see active users right now. It says one and then it's it's tracking that behavior and then it tells me where I am on the website itself. So you can see here that I'm on the home page, the index.html page. And now it's gonna be again tracking where I move through the website. And if you have an advertising campaign, let's say for example you do a Google Ads campaign and you take out some YouTube video ads and you also take out some text ads that show up amongst search results, you'll be able to get begin to see where people are coming from, what they're doing when they get to your website, and get an idea of the value of that advertising because you'll be able to say, well, I spent you know, $100 going after these 24 clicks. And out of those 24 clicks, I had six people get all the way to my checkout page if I have an online store, or I had you know, three people fill out the subscription form on my website, so I was able to capture some data, or I had two out of those 24 people buy products from me or make phone calls or whatever it is. So the tracking is pretty inclusive. It's gonna give you a lot of data. Sorting that data becomes a little bit of work. You can run all kinds of re reports. You can see things like, you know, the conversion rates that you're getting. Um, you can do co cohort analysis. That's things like, for example, uh, if you have people that come to your website for the first time, how many times does it take for them to come to your website in order to become a customer? And then once they become a customer, how long do they stay a customer before they stop paying? Or if you're doing a subscription service, how long do they subscribe before they stop paying? So there's just a lot of options here. And of course you have all the mobile related stuff too. So you can see people who are coming from, let's say for instance, iOS devices versus people that are coming from desktop devices. So you have an idea of where your audience is coming from. So there's a lot to check out there. I'm not gonna go through every single one of those things right now. I just want to show you the basics on how to add that to your website. And again, this process of adding that code snippet to the head section of your website is the same whether you're using Web Starts or whether you're using another website builder, WordPress, or hand coding your website by HTML. That's it for this video. I appreciate you watching. And if you enjoyed it, or even if you didn't enjoy it, go ahead and tap subscribe, the subscribe button, and click or tap on the bell to enable notifications. That way you'll be the first to find out when I release a new video, product, or feature of WebStarts.